Cup of Touch is a natural and portable hand sanitizer that you can use when soap and water are not available. Here to share how people of all ages can use Copper Touch to sanitize without sticky chemicals are Robert Essay, inventor at Copper Touch, and Dr. Jonathan DeVries, scientist at Copper Touch. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Good, good. Doing very well. So, what is Copper Touch and how did you guys invent it? Well, it was an idea. I was working on a project where I had uh, a vendor had brought in a package that had copper in it, and he said it would kill the microbes within the within the package, whatever I had in there. And it turned out over. It took me several weeks to do the testing, and uh, during that time, I did an investigation of copper, and I was not aware of its antimicrobial properties, and I learned quite a bit about it being incorporated in the hospitals and door handles, things like that, and I was excited about it. It failed in my test, but I learned a lot along the way. And then one day well, I was- The package failed. The package the copper failed. Did not <laughs> yeah, the, copper, the copper did its thing. And I was, uh, I learned that it really had strong antimicrobial properties. And one night on my way home from work, I asked my, my sister-in-law asked me, what, what is I working on? And so I told her I was working on this, the concept of copper and the fact that it could kill germs. And she said, why don't you have one that I can hold in my hand? And she went into her kitchen and got the stainless steel one that is used for odor removal. And with that, she came back and I said, wow, that is a good idea. We can do that. And so the rest is history. That's a, it took us a long time to get this out and be commercial with it. But uh, we finally are there now. Yeah, you mentioned the stainless steel one for, for kitchens, and I actually have one of those myself. And this, this, in some respects, reminds me of that. How, how exactly does it work? How, how do we know it works, and how does it you know, take, the, take the necessity of sanitizer or, or not using sanitizer out of the equation? Well, basically, you use it much like you would a hand sanitizer, except that you take it in your hand and you rub it on the surfaces everywhere where the copper contacts, you kill the germs. And our tests have shown that you can get 99% kill of germs, viruses, um, when you apply it. So um, very effective. Copper has been known for centuries. Uh, actually, about 4,500 years ago, Smith's papyrus, the oldest medical record, showed the Egyptians using it to kill germs. They didn't know about germs, but they knew how to handle infections and wounds and so forth and they used it to kill the germs there. That use continued all the way up until the middle of the last century when antibiotics were invented. It kills, uh, for instance, MRSA, it kills URSA, it kills the uh, Clostridium difficile, uh, E. coli, Staph aureus, um, influenza A, fungi, and so forth. I've not found any organism that copper does not kill when it's in contact with it. You just mentioned a, a bunch of different things that it's great and useful as a defense against. How exactly does it kill those germs? The killing has occurred because copper has, uh, is in group 11 of the chemical series, and it has a free electron in its S orbital. That electron uh, attacks the cells of the microbes and disrupts those cells. Uh, basically making them explode, I suppose, for lack of a better term, and uh, kills them. So there are two different models we have here. What, what are the difference between the, the, the coin and then the, the one that's more shaped like a soap bar? Well, the only thing that's different is, is the shape that fits in your pocket. Some people don't like the thickness of the, uh, of the one that's kind of bar-shaped, and they think it's too thick. So then we have the coin that you can just slip in your pocket and it doesn't show even at all. But I much prefer the soap-shaped one. It's, it rolls around your hand very nicely. You get it between your fingers more easily. So uh, just two of them that are available there. But uh, I want to em emphasize that in your world that you live in out there in Nevada, uh, there are just, you have so many visitors coming from all over the world and when you go into a casino, for instance, how many hundreds of people have touched the areas where you're going to touch, even if it's the back of a chair 
it's a button, it's the, uh, the uh, chips, whatever it might be, even getting into your room. There have been people that have touched the handles there. Maybe it's not as clean. So it really is an ideal application for this technology. To now have that's, it in your pocket. That's a, that's a very you, interesting point. Uh, and, you know, there, there are so many different ways and you can utilize this. And also, you know, not just to mention that hand sanitizer can be messy. This fits right in your pocket. But, guys, thank you for your time this morning. It's a really fascinating alternative. To learn more about Copper Touch and receive 20% off products, visit coppertouch.com.